I mostly just use the point and shoot. Mine actually broke and I'm using one that a friend lent me right now while I'm looking for one to, uh, to buy and shoot with more consistently. But um, uh, it's like a Minolta Freedom. I like ones that are between 28 and 38 millimeter lenses, so kind of wide. So if I'm in a, uh, like an indoor environment and I'm shooting with flash, it's like I can, it's far back enough without having to like hit people <laughs> when you jump back to like frame it. So it needs to be a little wide and um, needs to have a nice on-camera flash because I shoot indoors a lot and um, in the dark and uh, I shoot with uh, Tri-X film or another black and white high grain uh, film because with the point and shoot the lens isn't super sharp so if you use a sharp grain of film the pictures come out looking sharper and clearer than they would if you used like a 100 ISO film in that in that type of camera. I mostly like shoot like debris in the street and then people but um, at school, I'll, I'll shoot in the studio, and I like shooting in the studio, but um, that's mostly the only thing I'm really interested in photographing is social electricity between, between people. I'll usually carry like a couple rolls of, I'll have like five or six rolls of film on me, and I'll either keep them in a pocket or in my backpack. A lot of the times I mostly just shoot with a point and shoot, and it's super easy, the camera does the work for you. You just have to pull the, pull the leader out a little bit and then close the back and the camera loads it for you. And the reason I use a point and shoot um, film camera mainly is not even because of, like I've started shooting film just because I thought it was cool. It was, it was really fun, but um, the reason I do it now is because in a social situation, or like people people usually want to see the picture right after if it's a digital camera or if you're shooting with a Polaroid or whatever, but with a point and shoot, they can't look at it and it doesn't break the flow of events. So people have to keep doing what they're doing. Once they know, they're like, can I see the picture? And you're like, no, actually you can't. And then they just keep doing what they're doing and you get much better pictures and it doesn't interrupt the flow of whatever's happening. More like a kind of stream of consciousness style shooting that's like sort of a personal documentary. I don't usually specifically go out to shoot something. It's like, I'm going, I'm living my life. I'm having my whatever. I'm at work or I'm socializing, but I have my camera with me and I'm just documenting it in that way, but in a visually engaged way. I want every picture to be uh, candid, you know, and, and that also, it lets it become more of like a performance and a ritual like other people will pick up my camera and take pictures with it and it's super great it's just it's awesome it's kind of like an extension of living your life anyways and i think that's what what i'm making is it's just an extension of living my life already which is interesting to me if i had time i would uh, develop it myself i used to develop myself but um, during school and with work on top of school i found it's really hard to get the time to do do a significant number of roles at one time, especially when I'm using stuff for assignments for class. It doesn't make sense, so I'll take, when I have like 10 roles, I'll go to the lab and um, I'll get them to develop, develop it and leave the eggs uncut and just do a cheap scan when they run it through the machine because they can run the whole whole roll through at once and get a, a scan so I can, I can look at them that way and make an edit from that. And then I'll, I'll cut them put them in my binder, whatever, or I'll just bring the rolls to school and cut them at school and put them in my binder there and I'll scan them here, the ones that I'm going to print or use or whatever, and then um, for assignments and whatnot, I'll just do it uh, here at school. I'll also post a lot of the, the scans from the lab on online and put them out on social media because I always find it really interesting when you tag people like do they untag themselves like which photos get likes I think it's super interesting when you take these pictures of people that they're not used to having these kind of candid pictures of them in their everyday situations they're used to just having you know either posed group shots or you know like selfies or whatever on their on their social media and they get these these pictures of themselves doing the things they love that they do every day that are totally not posed and they they really like them and I, I love the response to it like people really love the pictures that I get of them doing that kind of stuff so I'll go out you know and I'll meet people I don't know mutual friends of people that I know and I'll be taking pictures of them and then you know when I eventually I post it that friend will be like request to add these tags you know and then this person will be like oh my gosh these photos you know and they'll they'll talk to me and I'll be like I'm really glad you enjoyed them I'm glad that people get excited about them you know